Hello everybody, this is Carol speaking. Welcome to this PolyWorks webinar, and it is already the last webinar of the series. We'll get right down to it. So today we're talking about how to share metrology results in 3D with your manufacturing team. Let's welcome Joshua Pepper, as he is our presenter today. Joshua is a member of the Technical Support Group. Let me remind you that if you have any questions during the webinar, please use the questions panel. I will be monitoring the questions throughout the webinar. We will have a short Q&A session at the end. If you don't have time to answer all of the questions, we will get back to you by email. And yes, we are recording this webinar, so it will be available for a later viewing. Joshua, it's all yours. Thank you, Carol. Generally speaking, a Polyworks user will perform piece inspection on the shop floor using the Polyworks inspector licenses. These results, however, will need to be reviewed by a decision maker. Manufacturing specialists, for example, will make decisions and modifications based on facts communicated through those inspections. To do that, our free PolyWorks viewer product is the perfect tool for this. In today's webinar, I will place myself in a role of a manufacturing specialist to show an example of just that. Using PolyWorks viewer, not only can I review, but I can also dig further and investigate critical components of a part and share those investigation results with different groups responsible for taking corrective actions. This is what I want to do with the project before us, in which an operator has inspected five pieces. Here we have a casted part with six counter bores representing a bolt pattern circle that will be used to fix this part to the other that this part serves as a cover for. On the interior, I have a machined cut and on the side, I have two adapter holes here. Let's begin by reviewing the navigation toolbar at the top. The first is a list of categories that help organize a PolyWorks viewer project. And in the second, a list of items that relate back to that category you are in. The category control views brings up a list of all of our control views as items. Let's take a look at the features category. Here, I can see a list of all of my features in my project as items. Let's take a look at my formatted reports category. Here, I can see all reports in my project. As right now, I have one report that was created by our inspector, and I only see one report in my list of items here. Let's begin our investigation of this part by going to level one, control views. A control view can be an organization of controls, such as a table shown here, followed by a visual representation shown here, where I can move my part about and see the controls that represent a certain phase of the inspection or could represent a group of controls relating to a certain component of the part that's critical. Here, I have a control view of my datum features ABC that was grouped together by our inspector that is easy to identify if the datum is pass or fail before continuing our inspection. Let's move to the next control view, the bolt pattern. Here, the first thing I notice is my bolt pattern position fails, and I want to investigate this. Let's begin by filtering out passing controls as I am only interested in what fails. Now, if I look at the deviation of my bolt pattern position, I see that that is a result of one of my circles being severely deviated. I want to better understand numerically how we are deviating. If I take a look down below here on my coordinate system, I see X moves horizontal, and Z moves vertical. Let's add X and Z positions to my annotations by editing the contents of the annotation by editing lines and applying specifically the position of X and Z and apply that to all of my circle features. When I click OK, I can see X and Z numerically on each annotation. However, I do not want to relate the X and Z positions numerically back to my coordinate system. Let's go ahead and visualize the measured point deviations and increase the size here. And I can see that my circle is deviating down and a little bit to the left. This is a great visual to tell me easily which direction each circle is deviating in. Let's go ahead and add them to the remaining clearly deviated four circles. Now, I want to communicate my investigation to the interface group that is responsible for creating this bolt pattern. 
To do that, let's create a control view for them to take a look at later. I will select my controls and hit create control view. Here, I can bring up a control view creator box where I can name my control interface group, bolt pattern, issues to call attention to this control view. Next, I do not want to create a snapshot and table and send that to the current active report. If I want to leave that report alone for the entire inspection, let's hit create. Now, I want to create a report to complement the newly created control view that shows what I have done to investigate my bolt pattern. So let's go ahead and create a report. If I notice at the top in the navigation toolbar, I am not a trained PolyWorks user and do not see an easy way to create a report. Let me introduce you to the search bar here. I can search for formatted reports like so, and I can see where to go in the menus to create a formatted report. However, the great thing about the search bar here is I don't have to go through the menus. I can click on the result and immediately have a new report created. Let's go ahead and name this report interface group fault pattern issues. Of course, I could apply a title and author, but for now, let's continue building our report. Let's go back to the 3D scene and capture a snapshot of what I have now added to my bolt pattern. Now, I want to continue the second level of my investigation to have more information and better understand what's going on here. Let's change my category to features and navigate to that bolt pattern feature. Here, I can show the position of my red circles that are failing and my green circles that are passing in the alignment of ABC for that position. This could be helpful information to help the interface group take corrective action in improving the position. Let's take a snapshot of this that could be very helpful in our report. I can search for snapshot and click create snapshot. Let's go ahead and take a look at how my position is in with, with respect to only A. Here I can see all of my circles shift up and I have these top circles in this one here that all pass. And then I have these circles on the side here that now fail. But this is helpful information in ensuring that the interface group understands better what's going on with our bolt pattern in the position of ABC in comparison to A. This is good information to report as well. So let's create a snapshot for this. Last but not least, I want to create a report table to complement my snapshots. So let's search for a report table and once again, create a report table from the search bar that I see here. Let's go take a look at my newly created formatted report, interface group, both pattern issues. And here I have a report that can complement the control view and that can be submitted with the Project PolyWorks viewer for the group to take a look at. The interface allows us to simply navigate through the project's content and then isolate exactly what you are looking for without being a trained PolyWorks user. When you don't find what you need as readily available buttons at the top here, you can just use the search bar and find what you are looking for. Let's continue investigating this part in another critical area by going back to phase one control views. Let's go take a look at the interior pocket. Here it is important that we have a correct machined cut of our interior. As I mentioned before, this part serves as a cover and you need to be able to fit components inside this part. Here we can see deviations of our interior pocket. And I want to investigate further what is going on here. First, let's begin by creating a report that we will share with the group responsible for this machined interior. Once again, let's search for, for formatted report, or I could go to the report menu now that I know where it is, and I can just hit create formatted report. And once again, I can give my report a name, such as gear design group. Interior clearance issue. Hit apply. And now let's build our report. The first thing I want to do is send a reports table showing what's going on with my surface profile here, my min deviation here, and my max deviation here. Next, I want to investigate the second level of what's going on with this interior. For that, let's go to data color map 
And we can see that our inspector has created an interior only color map. Here, notice that new contextual buttons appear where I can hide my features and I can hide my CAD model as I only want to look at the scan of my part. I can drop point annotations in different shades of my part here and call out the deviations based on what I see for color, making it very easy for me to understand where we are deviating. This would be a good snapshot to send to our report. If I am not a trained PolyWorks user and don't have confidence in moving my part in the 3D scene, I can come down here and I can change my view by mousing on our pop-up cube down here that I can change the camera view, zoom in, and I can continue dropping point annotations in different shades of color to better understand where we are deviating. Once again, this is a good snapshot to share. Let's go take a look at my newly created report. Here, I have a report with a table and some snapshots that I can share with the gear design group so they can make a better cut of my machined interior. With these two examples, we just looked at the result from the current piece. But let me draw your attention to the fact that there are five pieces. As I mentioned earlier, our inspector has inspected five pieces. Obviously, when looking at a control value, it can be very useful to see how all other inspected pieces behave to conclude whether or not we have a production problem or if we are looking at a single part defect. Let's continue our investigation at level one of another critical component. Let's go back to control views and let's go to the small adapter hole. Here, we can see that I have many controls related to the functionality of the small adapter hole. Let's sort my controls here in our controller viewer and see what passes and what fails. The first thing that I notice is I do have many failing controls so let's go ahead and only show the failing ones to continue our investigation. First thing that points out to me is that datum cylinder E's position is failing, and I want to understand why. Let's go ahead and select datum cylinder E control, and go ahead and create a new control view. Let's add a color map to this control view to make it more obvious where the deviations are. Once again, let's create this control view and name it so that's something that speaks to the group that's responsible for machining this adapter hole. Let's go ahead and create my control view. Next, I want to create a formatted report that I will use to share with my newly created control view in PolyWorks Viewer. Let's go ahead and search for formatted reports Create that formatted report and once again name my report the same as the control view so they complement one another. Once again, I can apply a title and author, but for now, let's just let's simply go ahead and continue creating our report. First, let's grab a snapshot. Now, I want to continue my investigation in the second level. So once again, let's go to Features, and let's go take a look at Datum Cylinder E. Here, let's go ahead and hide our scan and take a look at the position of Datum Cylinder E, as we saw in the first example with the bolt pattern, to better get a visual of how our position is. We can see that we're clearly deviated from the CAD cylinder. This would be a good opportunity for us to take a snapshot for all reports. Now, as I mentioned before, we want to understand if we have a production problem or if we are looking at a single part defect. Let me draw your attention to a new category, Object Control SPC. Here, we have five pieces in our inspection. First, I want to draw your attention to the annotation. Notice that we are no longer showing piece-specific analysis in the annotation. Now we are showing SPC by mean measured and standard deviations. If I come down here to my SPC table, we can show the values per piece in the position ABC, where I can see all of my pieces clearly fail beyond the 0.7 tolerance. This is a good opportunity to report this, so the group responsible for this adapter hole can identify if they have a production problem. By simply clicking report table here, 
I can go ahead and send one table to my active report. Next, a trend chart is in order where we can easily see the trend time, the trend over time in our production. So each piece is represented by these red dots here. As I can see, they're well above the 0.7 tolerance. A snapshot is in order to collect this information as well. Let's now go take a look at our newly created formatted reports in the hydraulics group where I can see my snapshots in an SPC result on the second page of my table as well as my trend chart. After saving our project here, we have two new control views and three new reports that each group can now consult using either PolyWorks Viewer or PolyWorks Inspector. Finally, if I want to in investigate on a third level, we can open up our tree view here where a trained PolyWorks user can take advantage of the tree view to continue his investigation, such as changing your data alignment or changing report properties here to continue to allow you to further investigate. This concludes our webinar on how to share metrology results in 3D with your manufacturing team. Thank you, Joshua. So we have some questions that are coming in. Um, let's go with the first one. Where can I find the PolyWorks viewer? Yes, great question. If you simply go to our homepage and go to products and go to PolyWorks viewer, the link to download PolyWorks viewer is right here. Perfect, thank you. Um, second question, so can I use the viewer to make my inspection reports? Absolutely. The great thing about PolyWorks Viewer is it can allow your inspection team to simply worry about collecting the data to inspect the part, while you worry about creating reports on the analysis side. Okay, thank you, and it's actually all the questions that we have. So this webinar has been recorded. It will be available on the Enough Metric software website, navigate to the support section. It will also be available on the Enough Metric software channel on YouTube. So this was our last webinar of the series, as I mentioned, and we will be back in February, actually, 2018. So you'll have to uh, stay tuned for details on the topics and uh, the correct date. It will be announced through uh, the website. Thank you for joining us this morning. And on behalf of the End of Metric team, we wish you happy holidays, be safe, and we'll see you in 2018. Bye-bye, everybody.